This here is not your typical holographic display. In fact, I don't think I really know anyone who owns a holographic display to begin with. Meet the Halo Asus A1, a brand new Bluetooth speaker that features a holographic display. With dual speakers and a built-in subwoofer, this thing is not only unique, but also even features a karaoke display. In other words, you can go ahead and sync and dance and see the lyrics on the front in this display in real time. Now together we'll be unboxing as well as trying it out, so if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. All right guys, check it out. So this here is our packaging. This is the box for our Halo S's A1. And it kind of gives you a little bit more idea about what it is. So on the top side here, it does mention that it has a 360 degree transparent LED display. So it can actually project itself anywhere on that capsule. And then it's got a high fidelity sound quality. So it actually has a dedicated DSP unit, meaning it has two full range speakers. And then it also has one base unit, which is on the bottom, and wireless audio, which you can connect to it via your phone or a Bluetooth device. And it also has aux as well, so you can do input and output based on that. In other words, you can technically like hook up a microphone too, which is kind of cool. Now, it's got a dynamic music visualization where essentially it is uh, free floating lyrics in real time. So it's a karaoke box almost in a way, which is kind of neat. So as it's playing the music, it'll show the lyrics on the screen and almost like in a very fun way, uh, kind of giving it a really unique twist on karaoke machines. Now it does have multiple display themes, so they have different variations of different themes that you can technically choose from. Uh, all app control, which we'll be looking at in just a little bit. Other than that, on the box here, as you kind of rotate it about, doesn't show much, just kind of shows a quick little display of how it kind of looks here on the front. And then that is it. Let's open this thing up. So inside the packaging, we have this nice looking styrofoam case. It does show the Halo Asus logo here on the front. Other than that, just go ahead and open it up by lifting it up like this. <laughs> Oh man, that thing's actually a lot more cooler than I was expecting. So it has a very futuristic vibe off the back. Really nice looking presentation. Uh, so you do have a box here on the side. I'm assuming this just houses our power cable. So it says future audio visual starts here. I think that's actually true. Uh, so inside here we'll have a power adapter as well as our manual. So let's see, it's a standard wall outlet plug, a user manual and a cloth to clean it. So this is it. This is our Halo Asus A1 and it just looks really appalling just the looking at it. Now uh, there's a lot going on with it. Just right off the back you have that very unique capsule like a cylinder. Kind of looks like something out of Ninja Turtles with the ooze. <laughs> and uh, or the Power Rangers where the, the tube where Zordon kind of sits in. But um, really cool. I can see that it does have this like LED kind of strip going throughout. There's three of them and it kind of rotates and when it spins fast enough, it'll go and start projecting different, uh, you know, holograms is like we like to call it. So pretty neat. And then I do see some uh, LED rings here on the side. So it'll actually go with the sound or you can customize it too. Uh, a lot of different materials throughout. So you have like this almost like mesh kind of like feeling over here. You have this cloth which houses our dual speakers. So they're kind of like going upwards. That's kind of cool. And then uh, as we kind of rotate it on the bottom here, you'll see our subwoofer, which is that speaker right over there. And then on the downside over here, you do have your uh, aux ports. So you have your input and your output on the bottom side here. And then you have your 24 volt uh, power cable port as well. Now, on the back side, which is what we see this right over here, this is the power button. You just go ahead and hold that for a few seconds to go ahead and boot it up, vice versa, to turn it off. And then on the front side over here, we'll have our touch buttons. So this will include like skip, volume, uh, pause, play kind of deal. I mean, it is definitely heavy. <clears throat> yeah, a good amount of weight to it. So it has a really solid feel. Now, they do say that if something does crack on it or something breaks, do not use it, which makes sense because this thing spins really, really fast. Let's go ahead and plug it in next and see what this thing can do. So we're officially plugged in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the on button on the back. So this must be the boot up process. Oh, look at that. That's 
That's so cool. Whoa, look at that. It shows the time. That is actually a very, very unique way of showcasing time. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but like as I kind of rotate it, even on the back side, it'll continue. 360. That is so wicked. And then on the side here, we do have our lights as well. Now, obviously you do have your buttons here on the front. So if I go ahead and hit this button here. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you is a setting. So on the bottom right, here's a button, click this, and it'll actually pull up a menu. From here, you can actually toggle between the different settings. So you can go ahead and go from effect, to system, to Wi-Fi, to Bluetooth, etc. So under display, if I select this here, I can change the angle, I can change the brightness, I can change the theme, I can change the music light, etc. So that's kind of neat that you have these controls minus the app. And then you have your effects mode, which is going to be your side ones. I mean, overall, it's actually pretty cool that it does give you that full connectivity. And of course, it does have a unique display going throughout it. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the app next and kind of show you exactly all the different features that you can control with it. All right. So I've already connected to it. So it works via Wi-Fi. Uh, once you connect it, you connect it to your network. Control it. So now we're in our detail. So uh, they'll have more updates going forward. But right now, we only have these different variations that we could choose from. So if I click this here, it'll automatically change it to the next one here. And this is actually kind of cool too. So if you, as you kind of look at it, uh, it'll again, wrap around throughout it. It has very unique animation, like a spiral of colors kind of going throughout it. Um, and then of course the sides also will highlight with it too. And then this here is more or less like a, a clock display. So you can just keep this out and about and just have it showing the time, which is kind of cool. And then of course the fact that it's transparent makes it even better. So that is that one. And if I click on this here, um, this is back to the original. Uh, they'll have more in the future. So just keep that in mind. So just periodically we'll update, which is kind of cool. Now, I hope they have like a custom version where you can make your own, which is kind of cool too idea, I would say. Uh, but I'm sure going in the future, they'll have that. Now under music mode, they have these different music settings. So based on what you're playing, um, they'll be like different karaoke versions, uh, which we'll be trying out just a little bit. But uh, if you go into settings here, uh, you have your brightness control, so I can decrease the brightness of the screen. I can increase the brightness of the screen. I have adaptive brightness. So adaptive brightness will adjust to the environment that it's in. Um, and then it'll adjust based off of that in terms of making the screen brighter or not. You can also rotate the degree of the angle of the screen. So if I want to higher up, I could do that too, uh, in terms of display purposes. So that's kind of nice too, that it does give you that capability in case if you're like somebody who's like taller or shorter and you kind of want to have it on a different set angle, uh, it'll adjust automatically to that. So there you go, back to zero degrees. Now you have your different sound effects. So these here are uh, essentially, if you're trying to have something that you play is more for rock music or rap music or like pop music, stuff like that. And then you do have control over the side light, which is called our atmosphere lighting. So this lighting over here, you could technically control. So we have a standby light, which will be what is happening right now. If I disable it, it'll turn it off. And if I turn it back on, you have your breathing light. You can pick your color that you want. Um, and then, you know, select it that way. Now it's red. Uh, you have a breathing light, you have a streamer light. A streamer light will kind of do it like a circular motion, um, kind of like that. And then you have your lyrics light and then you have your timer where you can technically turn it on and turn it off based on your liking in terms of, do you want this clock to be on at a certain time of day and then turn it off before bedtime? Obviously it sounds like it's constantly spinning. So you might want to save that energy, but again, really cool stuff. So that is the app in a nutshell. Now, aside that, if I go back here, you have uh, some software settings as well. So this will show you your updates. So you just click check for update and it'll check for the update based off of the app. Um, so you have everything at your disposal and then you can always add multiple to. So this is technically how you would set it up. You turn it on and then connect to it and that is about it. So now that we've connected to it, we're gonna see if we can try out our music. Okay, so now that we're all set and ready to go, let's go ahead and try this out. I wanna give you a little idea of what the speaker quality is. So it being a dual speaker with a little subwoofer should be a good amount of oomph for any room of its size. So let's see what this can do. a good amount of bass. I can actually feel it.
So obviously due to uh, copyright related issues, I can't play music out loud, but to show you how it works with lyrics, this here is a song that I'm using right now called Can't Touch This. Um, and it shows the lyrics in real time on the app too. So it'll actually show it on the uh, YouTube app that I'm using, but you can actually see it on the screen at the same time. So you can sing with it at the same time. And if you have technically your microphone plugged into the aux, uh, you should be able to utilize it that way as well. So. Look at that, pretty cool. Now they have different settings that you could technically go into. So if I go into detail, if I click on music mode, this is the first one here. You can see how it kind of like, it was really quick. So it's the only downside of it. And then the next thing I do is I can click on this one here. So this is like a different version of it. So you can see once it applies, there we are. So it'll have the lyrics kind of like going on the top there. And then this is another one. That's actually go cool. cool. I mean, some of the lyrics go pretty fast, so that's the only downside I would say. But it is really cool concept that you can have this as a karaoke machine and being able to like just see the lyrics on here as it's blasting the music is really cool. Uh, and the fact that they have different variations that you can technically choose from. Uh, and again, really up to you what you're trying to look for. So this here's another one. And yeah, I mean, you can just go ahead and go between them and from there you can just kind of pick and choose what you like. Uh, and whatever is your theme. And yeah, there you guys have it. So overall, a really cool speaker. Definitely very unique and definitely very futuristic. I love the fact that it is literally a hologram and it is a great eye-catching piece. Definitely well for any office or any centerpiece for a room. Now, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.